up YouTube? Today I wanted to show you guys something that came in the mail today. I guess it was yesterday that it came. I tried the Legend Sticks that came with it and it was the Fruit Punch flavor. It was actually pretty good. So now I'm going to open this up and show you guys my thoughts on the Warhead flavor, the Sour Watermelon. I bet it's going to be pretty dang good and uh, I'm excited to try it. It's like 9 o'clock at night right now and I'm having pre-workout. This has 165 milligrams of caffeine so we might be up a little while but my sleeping schedule has already been messed up anyway so it's whatever. I think something that's really cool about this though is that this is my first time I, have, I didn't buy the any of their pre-works out previous to this release and so one thing that I think is pretty cool that I noticed and that I knew was a big point in their marketing was um, was that their labels are fully disclosed. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. But basically meaning that they're showing every ingredient within each blend. So like their actual, you know, each each ingredient and how many how much the dosage is of each ingredient. So that's pretty cool because then you can kind of take take it upon yourself to do the research if you're really interested in that if supplement breakdown is something that you're interested in uh, a good website that I actually looked at was examine.com if you're actually interested in knowing like what individual ingredient in what dosages is doing what exactly as part of each dose or each serving of pre-workout but we're gonna get into this I have my water right here going to mix it up. The mixability on the uh, Legend Stick was actually pretty good. I was actually surprised because uh, considering those don't have a silica packet in them, it was a little clumpy, but it also, like within a few seconds of having it mixed in with my water, it, it just, all the clumps were gone. So mixability on that was really well, hoping this goes the same. I'm sure there's gonna be some sort of freshness preserver in here also, but we're just gonna see, open it up, See how it tastes. The designs are just so freaking cool on here too. I like it. I don't know if I'll be able to get the freaking lid off though. Don't use your teeth, kids. My mom always told me not to open things with my teeth. What am I doing? 19 years old and I'm opening everything with my teeth. What is this? There we go, got it started. I think we're good now. I can never get these ripped perfectly. There's always a little bit of overhang somewhere. It's a stroke. That was way too big of a whiff. It smells good though. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Usually I'm not a fan of watermelon stuff. I had, what was it? I had watermelon, I think it was C4 at one point in time, and it was disgusting. I could eat a whole watermelon. Snap in scooper. Now I just gotta be smarter than the container. I gotta figure out how to unsnap it without making a mess. Hold up. Oh, well, that was easy. What the hell is this? I thought this was the silica packet, but apparently it's a code for points that you redeem on the website. Dope. All right, cool. Have to not lose that. Looks like we've been, I got cocaine powder all over my desk. Remains are gonna think I'm snorting lines in here. Heaped scoop. A little bit more. A little bit more. Well, we can't let that go to waste, can we? Nah. Alright guys, all mixed up, looks nice, nice and really mixed up. Okay, here we go, honest taste test right here. It's actually good, like it's one of the better watermelon ones that I've had because when it comes to the fact that it's sour warheads, I think it's kind of hard to label a pre-workout as sour just because of the fact that 
to most people that have never even tried pre-workout, most of it's pretty potent anyway if you're using the recommended amounts of water. So that's the first thing that comes to my mind. But flavor, as far as that goes, freaking good. Um, I'm really sensitive, or I'm, I'm I, I shouldn't say sensitive, that's complete opposite. I have a high tolerance for caffeine and pre-workout and stim products, beta alanine ingredients within the products, stuff like that. And so it takes a little bit more for me to actually feel it. That's why I took a one and a half scoops. I would recommend if you're new to it, just, you know, try the, for try one scoop to start out with. That would be your best bet. And so it's going to be a little bit more concentrated for me because I did use about eight ounces of water. So it's a little bit more concentrated. So that would explain, you know, why it's a little bit more strong tasting, but it's, it's good. I like it. Um, as for the price, I don't know what it would cost if I were to have just gone to GNC and bought it. I wouldn't have had to pay for shipping, which I think was like $7 or something like that. So if I wasn't accounting shipping, it was $35 on its own, I think. I think I want to say that's what it is. Maybe I'm wrong. Don't quote me. But if that's the case, depending on how this actually ends up working for me, I got legs tonight and it's late and I'm tired. So if I feel like I it did me well, then... I'll be like, yeah, it was worth it, but we'll just have to wait and see. I have a feeling that it will be good and it will do well, so. Did I finish drinking it? I prefer to chug my brewer out. I like it to all hit me at once. So that's what I like to see. When I take a pre-workout, very minimal residue on the bottle. That means it mixed in well. My neighbors have their sprinklers on. And it's like 50 degrees outside. What the hell? So guys, I went full potato. I am actually getting ready to leave right now, but I realized I was so excited to take the pre-workout and show you guys my opinion on it and how it tasted that I realized that it takes me at least 10 or 15 minutes to get to the gym itself. And then I also, have to warm up today because it's legs and you got to get that mobility work in. So, probably gonna start tingling on the way there, but that's okay. I just like to time it when I'm like tingling right when I start my sets, but unfortunately, sometimes the warming up kinda just messes with that, so what can you do? You can't always time everything perfectly. So, yeah, and I'm gonna take you guys through my mobility and what I do on a typical leg day as well for my warm up routine. Might show a few set, like one set of each exercise that I do, or something to that nature. My legs are pretty, uh, my legs are still pretty sore from my leg day on what was it Sunday. So I don't know how much I'm going to do. We're just going to see, play it by how it feels, I guess, and try to get some volume in. So let's go. Woo! I'm on my way to an island and I'm probably shit at the bottom. Watch it up. Niggas, it's lit! I saw you in the party, soft lips. Thoughts on J. Cole's album? That's like one of the only songs that really stuck out, like that I ended up liking the sound of. It was just, I went through the whole album and I was like, ah, oh, kind of like this one. Hey, that's me! Okay, guys, I didn't actually snort that. Even though there might be some on my face, I have no clue. Didn't actually do it. I'm just giving this some time to mix, all right, okay? Just letting it mix up. I'm actually feeling a little bit of tingle, so that's good. It's been a while since I felt that beta alanine kicking in. I drink too much caffeine, that's why. But, gonna go warm up.
guys. That was a really, actually a pretty good workout. Um, it was like the third, this is like my third workout where I've, in like the past few weeks that I've um, actually squatted. And uh, it actually felt really good to be honest. And I'm excited to start squatting again as long as my knee and everything is fine. And you know, it just, it was a good workout overall. The pre-workout, by the way, I'm still pretty awake, which is good because I still got to edit the video up tonight when I get home. And it's nights like these that just make me realize how thankful I am to have gotten in, even interested in fitness. And it's just because, it, you know, there's not a better feeling than knowing that you, you know, because I had cardio and stuff like that. I didn't want to do the cardio. didn't want to. I was just like, ah. I was just tired kind of in the middle of it and I was like, I just want to go home. Then I did the cardio, got done, felt good. And it's nights like these that I'm just like, I'm just grateful because it, there's just not a better feeling than knowing that you put in a good workout and now you get to go home and just, you know, <laughs> do it all over again the next day, I guess. I mean, my life doesn't revolve around just fitness. I have other things to do, but I'm just like, <laughs> That's just how I feel about it. It's like, and if I could share the experience and just my personal experience with other people, that's really what I want to get out, be able to get out of this channel and share with you guys is that the benefits of, you know, it can make, it makes you feel like crazy good. Like if, if you guys could, I don't know, feel how I'm feeling right now and it's, it's just like when I'm driving. I feel like when it's, it's when I'm driving and I just start having all these thoughts. And it's, it's always after these good workouts that I'm just like, damn, like I'm so grateful. So if I can even just motivate someone to just get in the gym and try it out and have that one good workout that just makes them fall in love with it, that's really what this channel is about and educating you so that you can keep making that progress to keep that fire stoked. And I just, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm just, I, I feel really grateful right now. So just pulled up to the house. I got to eat still. It's like midnight and uh, I'm going to edit the video up, have it up tomorrow, Thursday, when you're watching this, it'll be Thursday. So yeah, guys, hopefully get another video coming here. Hopefully Friday or hopefully, uh, I think it'd be probably Saturday, hopefully. Saturday. I'm hoping to get one up Saturday. So keep an eye out for that. If you guys enjoyed the video, got something useful from it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you liked it and you like me, which I hope you did, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.